Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're gonna make the Ginger Julep. Ah, I love this drink. It's a great uh, variation of the classic mint julep. Mm -hmm. uh, what we do is we add some ginger liqueur. Yes. Our favorite is Canton. Yep. And uh, it gives it kind of uh, an Asian twist. To yeah. It. Add some uh, spicy, sharp flavor with the, the ginger from the ginger liqueur. Yeah. Well, we love this ginger liqueur in a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's, it's coconut drinks, any sort of Asian drink. Right. Like, you know, it pairs well with mango. Mm -hmm. But here it is really exceptional. Right. Because as this drink evolves in the glass, as the ice kind of tends to melt, and the richness of the bourbon comes out and mixes with that ginger liqueur. Ah! It's fantastic. And it's nice for your Kentucky Derby party because you can offer right. a few options rather than the stale old mint julep. Right. We got a rhubarb julep. Mm -hmm. We've got elderflower julep. Yeah. We have the, uh, the original yes. mint julep, which is a little bit different than the mint julep we usually yeah. like to make. So. That uses, uses, uses peach brandy. Yeah. It's a but cognac instead of a bourbon. There's all sorts of variations. Yeah. So, and they're all easy to make if you have our mint syrup. Mm -hmm. which you can make. It's very simple. We have a video to watch on that. And if you're making several of these variety of juleps or many of one variety, it mm -hmm. makes life a lot easier. Yeah, you don't want to be sitting there and, and, and stirring in the, the sugar every time you make one. So, But if you're making one just for yourself and you want to enjoy it, you, you would have to have the mint syrup. You would take, uh, it would be a tablespoon, I believe, uh -huh. of sugar. Um, you would mix that in with everything and then muddle some mint in there. So. No matter how long you stir, you can stir for an hour, and not all that sugar ever gets dissolved. You're always going to have, yeah, you're always going to have a little bit at the bottom. But if you make the syrup, you don't have that problem. Yeah. So, and this is nice. Um, if you have several glasses, you can have them all filled up with the ingredients, mm -hmm. and then as your guests arrive, just put the ice in, and it's like very simple. Right. All right. Let's begin. Yeah. Let's make it. We're going to start with two ounces of bourbon. Mm -hmm. We're using Michter's here today. What's nice is. Any type of bourbon you use, or a cognac, or even a rye, mm -hmm. is going to give the drink an all-new base. That's like a Manhattan. I mean, whatever, if you change up the kind of uh, you know, bourbon you use, or even if you're using like brandy, um, you know, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make a different taste to it every time. Yeah. So three quarters of the ginger liqueur, three quarters ounce. Yep. Three quarters of a cup would be a little much, I yeah, think. Yeah, that would be a lot. Three quarters of an ounce. And then three quarters of an ounce of the mint simple syrup. Mm -hmm. And you make this by mix by boiling one cup of water, one cup of sugar. After it boils and the sugar dissolves, throw in a handful of mint, let it sit for 10 minutes, and let it cool. And pour it into a clean glass jar. It's that simple. Mm -hmm. We're going to do two dashes of rhubarb bitters because that really just adds to the depth of this drink and makes it perfect. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use rhubarb. Cherry works. Per, um, uh, well, Angostura. Yeah. You can use Um Mint, but don't use mint. Yeah. Mint we found it makes is just you, too strong. You would think it would work, but it, it doesn't. Yeah. So. All right. So two dashes of rhubarb bitters. We're gonna get some ice from our Lewis bag here. Crushed ice works best. You can watch our video on the Lewis bag too because. Why do you have a gigantic ice cube in there? I do. Look at that thing. That's like the Titanic of all icebergs. Take that guy out of there. Make it in there. <laughs> yeah, but the Lewis bag is a wonder tool, and we talk all about that on one of our other videos. Mm -hmm. So if you want to learn more about that. And then uh, we use a short straw, as in all of our julep, uh, juleps, because you want your nose in this as you drink it, right? It's the customary way to drink a tulip. You don't want it in your eye, because <laughs> no. that would be bad. But put a big hunk of mint in the side of your julep glass, and there you have your ginger julep. Truly a delight. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>